with your girl Tarot and welcome back to the channel or welcome if this is your first time here. If it is, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of the future notifications coming from this channel. Scorpio, this is for you from the month of February 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising and also Venus. If this message resonates, great. Take what applies, let the rest fly. But if it doesn't resonate at all, this means you might have to check your other placements or maybe need to check with another tarot reader as we all pick up on different messages. Sometimes it's the same said differently and sometimes it's completely different. All right, um, if you're interested in a private reading, all the information is down in the description box below. And you can now follow me on Facebook and also on Instagram. It's at Witchy Girl Tarot. Now let's begin, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you this month. Hopefully all is good, all is good and gravy, but you just never know until you know. Let's see, Scorpio. Okay, Ace of Pentacles we got coming in as a flyer. Ace of Pentacles, so some kind of opportunity to make money or an opportunity to change your life. The Ace, then we have the Knight of Wands, so an opportunity with a new passion, okay, or love coming into your life because the Knight of Wands is coming in hot. He's coming in there with a lot of passion. And then we have the Eight of Wands, yeah. So it looks like there's an opportunity coming and this opportunity is coming in the form of love. And things are moving very, very quickly with you in this individual. Well, yes, this is definitely a love reading. <clears throat> Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity has come to you with the Knight of Wands, something, so this person may be in, in, in a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries, okay, this person may also be um, a Gemini, okay, because we have the Lover's card there, it's ruled by Gemini, or it just can mean love, okay, which I do feel like it is, and when we see the Lover's card, it's all about soulmate connections, you see that angel that's there it's like a blessing of the, the angels like you guys are so cute together so there is definitely a connection there with some kind of fire sign what do you need to know that you don't know about the situation all right so we have the two of pentacles i feel like right now it's an important time for you to take it slow and really just take your time to get to know this individual weigh out your pros and your cons um you know this person may be great but again things are moving so quickly with this person you want to pace yourself because you don't want to make the same mistakes that you've made in the past i'm not saying have fun enjoy yourself enjoy this situation because love comes around to excite us to make us feel good and to feel us feel warm and the knight of wands is a gentleman he's very very flirtatious very very passionate comes with a lot of love so there's definitely with the lover's card and the knight of wands and the ace of pentacles an opportunity to grow with this person and the two of pentacles is really about you balancing out your time your money and your energy when it comes to this union how do you feel about this situation what is your current energy this month okay 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 and what do we not know okay ace of swords okay five of wands the devil card the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Knight of Swords. So we have the Five of Wands here. Five of Wands. Some kind of conflict, disagreement with others. Yeah, this is definitely some toxic energy coming in. And I actually tried to do this video earlier as a pre-shuffle. And for some reason, the Devil card came out. And I'm a Scorpio, so I'm just like, what's going on? Okay. So I feel like the five of wands may be an, an external thing where maybe um, you're actually arguing with other people, you're disagreeing with other people, and it may be something that's toxic. It's very, very toxic energy. And you're feeling right now with the nine of wands very, very tested. And then the wheel of fortune is, it's like you want things to just progress. Things are progressing. And the knight of swords here is about going into something hot-headed, going into something with a plan strategically, okay? So I feel like this is about... Um, I feel like this is really truly about you feeling like you're fighting someone or something. And I feel like a lot of you guys may be holding on. Um, I feel like you, you guys may be holding on to old situations because the situation with the Ace of Pentacles is a new situation. And then this Five of Wands energy is like, I feel like it's like old tired energy. Um, and then the devil card is like something that's holding you back. And I feel like with the nine of wands, it's something that's been holding you back for some time. And then the wheel of fortune is like the inevitable taking place. Okay. Um, the future. So the wheel of fortune, the future. So holding you back from the future. And it's time with the knight of swords that you get on that horse and that you go for what it is that you truly want. Okay. What do we need to know about this five of wands card? 
What do we need to know about this Five of Wands card? Look at that, the Five of Pentacles. So this had to do with something that you lost, a relationship, you know, that you lost. Could be um, friendships, friendships and actual relationships um, with people, people in your family you stopped speaking to. Why is this Devil card showing up? What does this have to do with? The Eight of Swords, oh wait, the Eight of Swords is right here. The Eight of Swords energy right here is really about, uh, com coming out of that devil card, the Eight of Swords is about like self-imprisonment. So you feel trapped with a situation, okay? Like I feel like there's, Scorpio, you feel like you're not sure how to get out of a situation, okay? Um... I feel like you don't, you're not sure how, how, like how to move forward. And I feel like it may just be, be you thinking the worst out of the situation. Because the Eight of Swords is also like self-imprisonment. Like you're holding yourself back from being great because you're thinking about all the negative things. And then this Nine of Wands card here is about the Knight of Cups. Okay? So you're holding yourself back from an invitation or love from, of some sort. Something good coming into your life. It's hard for you to receive those blessings because you're constantly thinking about the loss okay and what about this wheel of fortune card do we need to know which is about your future the world card the world card is all about evolution and evolving right so we go from one major arcana wheel of fortune which is about your future the future of the world the future of your life okay so this is really about letting go of all those things that are no longer serving you that toxic energy the toxic um, beliefs and fighting and trying to prove yourself to other people because the truth is people are going to see how how you know when people want to tune into certain things they will when they're ready okay and I feel like Scorpio you can be a little controversial so I feel like there may be you wanting to I feel like you want to I feel like you're stuck in a funk because you feel like there's something that um you want to say okay and I feel like you're holding yourself back from those blessings of that love. And then that Knight of Swords, I feel like that's someone coming to rescue you, okay? And it could be you rescuing yourself. But then we have the, this Ace of Cups that comes out, which is, again, the beginning, something Ace, number one, the beginning of something new. So I feel like this is new love, okay? So this is about forgetting about all that you've lost. And I feel like you have like this... I feel like you're in your in your head a lot, Scorpio. You may be re overthinking things a lot. And it's kind of like you're holding yourself back from e evolving, okay? Um, but that Knight of Swords is the same Knight of Wands who's coming in, okay? So that Knight of Wands or that Knight of Swords, they're coming in with lots of love to save you or to kind of shake your world, to kind of wake you up of like an opportunity that you may lose out on if you don't open up your eyes and really think things out, Okay. How does this situation feel about you? How does this situation feel about, whoa. Okay. Let's see here. So you have the Five of Cups energy here. The Five of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Tower card, okay? The Star card and the Ten of Swords, okay? So I feel like this person has also felt very by themselves, very alone, and okay? Um, they feel very, very regretful because they have also wasted time in their life, okay? They have also been hurt with the Ten of Swords before. They have been hurt before like you, and they completely have this this ten of swords that severing that ending of some kind of chapter in their life and i feel like with that five of cups it has to do with love the ten of the swords energy going into them severing that love then the tower being present here i feel like their world fell apart as well okay but then they were able to start over with the star card a new beginning okay hope faith they that kept them alive like i can do this again and they're feeling refreshed and they page of pentacles you are their new focus Scorpio they're focusing on you what's something you don't know that you should know the high priestess the high priestess is something you should that's like an oxymoron something you should know that you don't know the high priestess knows it all okay she's very very intuitive so I feel like intuitively you feel that this person has been hurt before and you feel like this is also a good start for you to be able to start over okay um but it's really a matter of just letting those that negative energy go all those toxic devilish 
habits, toxic behavior, toxic ideas of yourself, letting those things go, okay? Um, and really focusing on love instead of um, something negative, okay? Yeah, we got that King of Wands energy coming in. Love again, love with a fire sign. Something with the fire signs and Scorpios. You know, there's just, you know what it is? I feel like the passion of fire signs, they just understand the passion of a Scorpio. Like they can really, really tap into that vulnerability that Scorpios are so hard at giving up, okay? Um, they, they, they just work through that shit. So yeah, there's definitely fire energy and passion from this person and moving forward and persevering with this person. The King of Cups, I feel like that's all about love. I feel like that's you, but also <clears throat> representing the emotions. And I also, <clears throat> we had the Knight of Cups, right? And then it's the King of Cups. So I feel like this is you growing into this, okay? You going from that young phase of love, the more naive phase into the King of Cups who knows a little more on on emotions and life what else the chariot move forward with confidence move forward with confidence what you don't know harmony is on its way harmony is on its way love with the queen of cups is on its way the hanged one stop looking at things from the same perspective get untie yourself from that tree and go look at life from a different angle okay then we see the King of Pentacles. This is all about that long-term investment and stability you want. Long-term investment and stability is coming, longevity. The Hermit card, okay? You guys might be dealing with a Virgo, okay? The Hermit card, Virgo. You guys may, because we have that King of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Virgo. So you guys will be dealing with a Hermit, okay? And you're gonna have to make a decision, okay? You're gonna reach a crossroad with this person, and ultimately, again, you have to make a decision, a decision that you ultimately will decide whether it breaks your heart or if you can balance it all out, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is the female counterpart of that King of Pentacles. So we do see you working it out with an earth sign, okay? So it's going to be someone who's very, very grounded like you, okay? New cup. Okay, Knight of Swords. Yep. What is your advice via the tarot? I mean, sorry, via the Oracle. What is your advice? For the tarot. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest the clear intentions into reality. This goes back to everything we've been talking about thus far in this video, Scorpio. It's like, um, you know that you want happiness, but if you're focused on what you're not happy about, then it's like, how can you allow happiness to be invited? It's like people showing up at your house and you saying, oh yeah, um, I want everyone to come see me and pay me a visit. And then when everyone c comes to your house to knock on the door, you don't want to open the door. You know what I mean? Like you're asking for something, then if you that's what you want, then you have to respond in a way where um, you're you're making your intentions your reality, okay? And then we have the bright future with Lakshmi. Laksh, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, yeah. With bright future. And she says, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine, Scorpio. So if you're, you're, you're right now, I feel like a lot of you guys are, are thinking about how you're going to make money. I feel like everything is going to be fine. Your love life is going to be fine. But this is really about being clear with what your intentions are. If you're not, if, I always say the devil's playground, it, I mean, the idle mind is the devil's playground. Because if you're not, if there's not something that you're standing for, you'll fall for anything. And it's like, how can you have any kind of direction if you're not clearly putting it out to the universe? Like, I want to go in some kind of direction. Show me. Okay. So you have to be very, very open to that. Okay. All right. That's the conclusion of this video, guys. If you liked it, if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up and also share if you care. Sending you guys lots of love and light. Bye.